Hello there, Davina here and welcome to another tutorial from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. We've been asked if we could create a tutorial showing how to take a picture of the portrait of someone, remove it from the background and give it the ability to add different backgrounds um, to accessorise, a bit like um, accessorising handbags to shoes. The video will be in two parts. In the first one we will remove the background from around the portrait and in the second part we will improve the outline of the cut and add several different backgrounds to it. So I'm, we're going to take this portrait of it's not me, uh, it is my sister Caroline and I say thank you very much Caroline for allowing me to play with your head. So taking this picture we are going to remove her from the background or the background from her, whichever way. We're going to add a white background and also a patterned one and a blue one. All these patterns are within GIMP or you can make your own, but that's for a later tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get rid of this one now and turn to the image we are going to play with. Right, first of all, we want to add an alpha channel to this. You will know if there isn't an alpha channel because the word background is boldened. If I click off it, anyway, it's it's bolden. And we add a um, alpha channel by going to layer and down to transparency and add alpha channel. This adds a transparent layer to the image. And you'll see why that's very important in a minute. And also, the um, background text now is unbold, if there's such a word. I'm also going to duplicate this layer, and as I've said in previous tutorials, better be safe than sorry. If you do make a mistake, you can get rid of that layer, and you've not damaged anything on the photograph. So the prep is done, and what we're going to do is make it bigger, 200, no, 200% yes 200% the bigger the better actually and I'm going to just make sure the color palette is D that's the is the default color by pressing uh, key D so we're going to take the magic scissors and I'm going to start here and it's a question of just clicking and going around whatever you want to cut out you don't have to be exact. Well, you don't want to be going around the hair. Uh, that This hair is the most difficult bit to cut out. And I'll show you in a minute how you can ease it. But it is fiddly, be warned. I like using the scissors, but there are a number of ways in which you can cut out an image. Um, but this is the one we're going to use today. So just go down here, I'm going to go down to the bottom, over to here, and don't worry about any, there's a gap here, we're going to remedy that in a minute, but I just want to, and when you come to this one, there's a little symbol, and click on. We're now going to tidy up the edge if you like. I'm going to turn it down to 100. I'm a little bit too big. Yes, that's better. So if you want to alter this um, line here, just click and bring one in and you can move um, the anchor points. Move that up there. We can't move this one, but we're going to do something else with that in a minute to bring it to the edge. And just go uh, around and if you want to bring that one out there, just see how it goes. I think these are okay. I'll smooth it out a little bit. And when you're happy with 
what you've got, press enter. And that turns it into the traditional marching ants. Now I said I was going to do something with this here, and I am, but I'm going to make it smaller, so I've got a bit of room around the canvas to work on. Yes, that's fine. I'm going to go up to the free select tool, double click on there, and you want to go to the second in the mode, which is add to the current selection. And basically you just click, and you can click outside the image, click, and go around like that and join up and it will move the selection to the edge and the same with the other side so we've got it and if you wanted to make sure it was all at the bottom just do it like that that's right oh that's a bit odd there you've just got to make sure you end up Yes, and the place where you started from. So we have got the outline that we want. And what I want to do is I want to remove the background and not Caroline. And so we need to go up to select and invert. And then we go and delete, press delete on your keyboard. And you say nothing's happened. Well, of course, we've got the background underneath it. So if you click on the eye, and this is the layer you're working on, and you can see it's been deleted. I'm going to finish the video here now, uh, but join me in the next one where we'll add some more background, but more importantly, we will adjust, tidy up, improve, whatever you want to call it, the hair outline there and anything around here so look forward to seeing you in the next the second part of the tutorial